It's a message of hate. Stickers lined with a message from a white supremacist group are popping up all over the place in downtown Baltimore. And they're being placed close to where many Black Lives Matter protests are being held. WMAR 2 News, Dave Dentling's on this story here tonight with one Baltimorean who is working to erase them all. Well, these stickers, they are small, they catch your eye, and they're popping up all across downtown Baltimore. You can see what's left behind right here on the back of this sign. One guy, he's taking notice and he's working to wipe them away. Look around downtown and you'll see stickers promoting some type of cause. Most, if not all, have a peaceful message. But there are some that are being flagged by Benjamin Young Savage. This is their main recruiting tool, and so they're going to try to keep posting them. So as soon as I see them, I'm going to be scraping them down. Since Saturday, Young Savage, who supports the Black Lives Matter movement, has been busy identifying stickers like these, advertising a white supremacist group. WMAR2 News is not naming the organization in an effort to reduce its influence. Both the Anti-Defamation League and Southern Poverty Law Center designate the organization behind the stickers as a hate group. Young Savage made it his mission to remove the QR code, which, when scanned with a smartphone, directs you to the organization's website. Young Savage says the material featured is misleading if you don't know what you're looking at. Even the website itself is geared in such a way that you don't find out that it's white supremacist immediately. It talks about being a patriot and being, you know, really strong and, and for this country and all that kind of stuff. But when you dig into it, it's like, wait a second, you guys are a reaction against Black Lives Matter and you're basically in support of uh, a white only nation. To help spread awareness and help rid Baltimore of these stickers, Young Savage has posted them to Twitter, encouraging everyone, especially the white community, to take action. White people's responsibility is to listen to the black voices who are saying, you know, enough is enough and we've been dealing with this white supremacist system for a long time. And then our responsibility is to take that information, take that knowledge and do something about it. Whether that's, you know, talking to your racist uncle or scraping a sticker off of a parking meter. And we did reach out to Baltimore City Police to see if they are aware of these stickers and if they're investigating. We have not heard back. In downtown Baltimore City, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.